hello, hello. Raven, how are you? Well, that sounds disgusting. Oh, we can't go back to camp. Oh, shit. Good time zone. How are you at her cup? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that hurt. I'm so sorry. That hurt me to do. been at a cup. Uh, I'm waiting on the chirp of the coffee. That is not night time. <laughs> oh no, I hate that. Oh, I hate that even more. About the same. Life has been busy. Work is really ramped up. Um, and surprise, making video games is actually a lot of work and it's really hard.
I'm basically stalling until my coffee's done. Also, everyone's filthy and I hate it. Oh, that's so much better. Now you all aren't absolutely filthy. Oh wait, there's a Healy thing right here. All right, I'm gonna see if my coffee's ready and then um, we're gonna start this final fight, y'all. So this, I'm closer to the end than I realized. So when we finish, I'm gonna do epilogue content. But I actually haven't seen the epilogue outside of my very first one. And that's where Gail decided I'm gonna go be a god. While I go pour my coffee, let's throw the question in chat. Um, what's the weirdest spam email you've gotten? Because I got some in my inbox right now that I'm like, you didn't even try. Or you literally didn't even try. So, uh, BRB with coffee. Morning, Ian. Is it Ian or Ian? So I do not mess that up. I just realized I don't think I ever asked. Really, Adder Cop? Wow. Oh, my work email is disgusting. I don't even know how they have the email address. I have. I was getting spam email like my first month at the job. I'm sorry. What? station beyond measure we must prevail you're welcome we must heal the damage that has been wrought <laughs> with the end upon us so long as I'm surviving and I have you by my side I am faring as well as anyone can be I've never brought him to the final fight so I don't know how this is gonna work out I know we can Think of all that we've already survived. <laughs> Our foes should quake to see us approach them. I do, I am, and I shouldn't even say this, I'm moderately irritated at the very tepid kiss you get with the Starion at the end. I hall. There's nowhere else to go. This is where it all ends. Honestly, I think self-reflection may be the enemy just now. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Safer to just not think and keep forging ahead. I do. 
Think of all we've been through just to get to this moment. That wasn't luck. That was us. Oh my god. Let's just stay shoulder to shoulder and see this through. All right. We can do this. We have to do this. Oh, interesting. I feel its pull. Its desire to enthrall is overwhelming. Here we go. Wait, let me double check all of my equipment before we do anything. All of my spells. If you or a loved one were eaten by a Gru, please let us know. Ooh. Nobody has under a 16 AC, so that's not useful. No one here does necrotic. <clears throat> oh, I will. I will give everyone fire resistance. Because. I don't need a shovel right now, game. I don't know why you're trying to give it to me. Because <laughs> game. Okay, fire also is not going to be useful in this moment. That will be more useful against the dragon. <laughs> and we can still call forth allies. I need to remember that. Oh boy, Starion. What don't we need? I don't know if Talk to Animals is going to help us much in the final fight. False education has not been useful at all this, this run. I'm, I'm, I'm floored by the, <laughs> create water may not be useful. Also trying to call your, your, uh. Hey, Mavican, I am making sure everyone is geared up for this fight. Um, also going to make sure that everyone has the best possible equipment. Oh yeah, we never gave the money back, so I'm going into this with a lot of money. Um, Psychic is going to do nothing against these enemies. Elements does not around. And basically making sure Gale has all of his spells that he needs. I don't think Featherfall... Fly might be useful. Fireball, Ice Storm, definitely. I've never... I've only gotten Otto's Resistible Dance to work once. These are all level six spells. These are not going to work for me.
and take telekinesis out. Greater invis is fine. Shatter's actually useful. <clears throat> Basically, I'm trying to make sure I've got the right spells because once we start the fight, cannot. Cannot touch his spells once we are there. Ooh, bloodlust. Give that. Oh, we have no tadpoles. That's going to be useful. Everyone's going to need that. I'm basically doing my level best to make sure everything works. Uh, also disintegrate. You need this on your bar instead of that. All right, I think, I think we're ready. How are you, Mavican? All right, are we ready to face the brain? Because we also get the red dragon since I didn't side with, with um, the guardian. As you gaze upwards at the monstrosity above you, the orb in your chest seems to pulse like a dark second heart. Gail, what's troubling you? We're nearly at the end, I know it. What are you waiting for? <gasps> no, I'm not doing that. Well, I care for that even less. Let's make sure we prevail. Okay, so make sure nobody's spoiled. Oof, I need to clean my piercings. I think the material of my headphones is what makes them itch. I mean, the sooner you do it, the sooner you can start a second playthrough. Wait, we're climbing. I did not realize we're climbing a brain how far into the sky. We have no climbing grips. We're just on our own strength and Gale has an eight strength. Wouldn't it be ironic if you just fell off the brain stem? Also, I would be too tired by the time I climbed all of that to actually fight. There it is. The crown of Carsus, the site of power, the site of domination. Right? The nether stones. Perhaps if we use them here, they'll work this time. That's a whole lot of brain. And this bastard. The 
the infamous figure from your dreams, I take it. I know you. I know everything about you. That would be hilarious. Thoughts, it would be hilarious, but feelings, as a player, I would hate it. Your weaknesses. And so do they. Yeah, yeah. But also, Orpheus, how about that? How about we just kill you right now? But not the need for an elicit. Must use the tap. Yeah. So it's. Bolt of Celestial Lights. Oh, I've got a 72% disadvantage? No thank you, Jesus. None of us have a potion of speed. That's what I did not use. Dag nab it. I'm an elf. I don't need dark vision. I didn't do anything, shit. Ah, uh, yes. Um, flame strike on. Seriously? I did double. Oh, I multiclassed, yes. Um, what can I do? Nebulous black hole, that should be good. Can't extract the brain. I can do potent.
Yeah, that wasn't gonna hurt a dragon though. Come on. Oh, they're really trying to get Gale to shut up. <gasps> Not magic missile. Rude. Well, time to call in more people. Fuck. Okay, so I can use... Goodbye, dragon. Alright, Mazora, earn your fucking key. Rude. Uh, most people come in and say good Should morning. Oh, Halson. Uh, gonna save that. You've only got 19 points left. You had 19 points left. What should I do? You sh You should perhaps Guardian of Faith isn't useful right now. Oh no, that will attack my... Ah! 
Oh, that's an action. Damn it, none of us thought to make potion of speed. Not Lloyd can appear all at once. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's Omalum's turn. Okay. So I was like, what's happening? Oh shit, Mazora hasn't gone yet. Fuck. <clears throat> okay, for whatever reason, Mazora did not act. actually Now you die. Fuck me.
Oh, shut up. Wow, that was all the damage you did. Tentacles, you shall not have me. Ah, Mizora, you, you finally get to act. <clears throat> That's horrifying. Valid target. I'm not trying to. I was not trying. There we go. Rude! Why does this think I am still trying to hit the fucking dragon?
Shall we dance? I'm very annoyed. I do not have any potions of speed. You're an enemy. Wow, tentacle whip. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Also, we are still raising money, don't forget. Um... Oh no, they got your gear. How was he stunned? Well, shit. What? Excuse me? What?
I made the roll where he joined me. Oh, damn. Okay, Zevlor. Okay, I need the Hellrider Paladins to be more useful. Also, Gale really needs to get out of that circle. Because... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> How dare! You stopped me from calling the crown of causes. Fuck. There's so many. There's so many people here. Indeed. 
Who's the fucker that tried to eat Mazora's brain? I got something for you. Hey, Greg. What did that illithid do? You still have your action. Y'all are really worried about... I just shoot you. Nope. There is nowhere for you to go. I've called I've actually called too many people. Greater restoration. Bless you, Halson. These ghouls don't give a fuck. They're about to go fight everybody. <gasps> Shadowheart, I almost forgot about you. That dominator red dragon is dead dead. Got to press on. Oh, can't jump. Okay, so there we go. There's literally no one to go fight at this point unless you come help people. Do not like this. Yeah, and they stunned everybody. Can, can y'all hurry up and frickin' see that mind flare? Thank you. Hello, how's everyone doing? While I struggle thus. Also, we are still raising money. Uh, exclamation PCRF. We'll call the command and give you the donate link. Stay the course. We can do this as long as the spell is completed. Gail, you are partially illithid. I need you to chill. There's no one to attack, actually. Why are you attacking?
There is literally no one to attack. Why are you all like this? You know what? We're just gonna inspire everyone. Who is there to attack? Like, there's literally no one to attack at this point. We just need the crown of Karsis. Oh, there's brain puppies. Aww. But you can attack the brain puppies. Hey, Carrie, I just saw your text. Well, I saw that you texted. Oh, that's right, the ghouls can go attack them. A ghost carry. Are y'all gonna attack? What are you doing? Not this cleric going all the way down here to help people. Here we go. The brain is weakened. This is our chance. You have three turns to do enough damage. Even bound, its will is stronger than you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. It's vulnerable. But not defeated. Use the portal. I will if you shut the fuck up. Together. Also, we're saving right here because this can always go badly. Absolute freedom. freedom. Its will is weakening. The brain is almost defeated. Oh, you're getting a mind blast right here, buddy. Can the rest of us join you? Great. Can Mazora not go in there? Oh shit. Okay, well I guess she's just staying. I'm surprised Mazora can't go in there. I need Gale to go in, that's what I need. God damn it. Gail, get in there and shut the fuck up. Whew. 
Ooh, we did it. Shout out to modded Gale. Now, what do we do? Hold on. New save. It's subdued. So we're gonna make God Gale and then we're gonna go back. Join me. Wield me. Become we're gonna do one of each. And thus I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. Perhaps. So what do you want to see first? Do you want to see us become the absolute? Or do you want to see Gale be a good boy? That's the choice everyone gets in that one. Become the absolute, actually save Waterdeep. So God Gale first. We become the absolute. It's a short ending, just so you know. <laughs> you are not a good person when you do this. So now I wonder if you become the absolute, what happens? At last, it is subdued. Spare me. Join me. Wield me. Become absolute. And thus. I honor my mother's legacy. legacy. The grand design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Jesus Christ, Gale. Where was he hiding this dagger? Oh, God. <laughs> Conquer. Rule. Command. Oh, Gail. Right?
Not them cheering that we turned evil. In my name. <gasps> Leave no one behind. I got it. I got an achievement, even though I went evil. <laughs> I don't think there's a post credits if you go evil. Mm. Okay, you can't speed up the credits. Oh no, we're gonna redo it, Kelly. I picked Evil Gale, we're now gonna do Good Gale. Kelly, do you remember if there's a post credits if you um, go evil? <laughs> you, don't worry, you're gonna get more and Don't worry, you're gonna get more. Uh, see, there is no... Good Gale. So now we're gonna be good and not become God Gale. And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Yes, Angie. You can you can still have romance people. I must obey. I must end. I also um I'm able I was able to be Polly as Gale, but not when you play not when you try to romance him. Hopes. Nightmares and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn lithids. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain. I feel like this should have still killed us. Oh, there went the crown of curses. Silence. I mean, you can the ask. I'm not sure what I can answer. Uh, the Opera time, Geek is probably yeah. a better person to ask. Because uh, she helped me get my mods Quality. going. It's also a wing and a prayer every time the ca game updates.
Man, all the property damage from the brain hitting. Uh, you cannot use them on multiplayer unless you all have the same mods loaded in the same order. We discovered that after Kelly and I started modding our game. Either that or you disable all your mods for multiplayer. I love this very Dragon Age Origins ending. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Feel the tadpole. It's gone. We're free. Enjoy that for about five minutes, Astarian. And I'm still standing in the sun. This is incredible. Maybe whatever it changed in me was permanent. The tadpoles must have died with the brain. The threat Wait, of what? seromorphosis is no more. Of course, no slight intended towards your form. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. That's new. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. Do it quickly. I cannot live in this skin a moment longer. That's new. <laughs> Damn, Dale. You can ask all you want, it's new to me too, I don't know. 
I've not seen that's a new line. He did not hesitate. A true sacrifice and a noble spirit. May his spirit find its way home. I wonder if people complained about it. Because you do stand there a long time as a Starian before the sun finally hits you. And thematically it's weird because when you find his siblings... He puts them in the sun and they start cooking Yankee immediately. Leaving us. An unlikely place to find ourselves fighting on the same side as them. Oh, Carla. With the Yankee gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering. That, but that, I haven't seen the ending since they changed that, apparently. The crown is in the oh, that's my the staves chamber. doing that. You will salvage the stones and reforge the crown. The power of Netheril in your hands at last. last. The Carsite weave palpates within you. Stirred no, by the very prospect. Once the crown is restored, you could return it to Mistra, fulfilling her wishes and ridding the mortal world of such temptation. Or you could take control of it for yourself and become a god. Your allies' journeys may have ended with the Netherbrain's death, but yours has not. One way or another, you will have to reckon with your god. It's Wait, what? To speak to Mistra. We did it, soldier. Mm. The city's uh, going to be all right. Content warning. And so are you. So uh, BG3 CW. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So how'd I do? So are you. My friend. My companion. I adore you. Oh shit, Will's not gonna intervene? I'm not gonna do that returning to, to Avernus, at least not now. Cause I've seen that and that's not what I wanna do. But also I wanna see if Will intervenes. Because it's what the character asked me to do. I'm ready. I... I... Stand back. I'm going to... I thought Will was supposed to intervene. The fuck? Huh. 
Huh. Ooh, I've never had this scene before. Oh? So, Gale of Waterdeep, you have become the inheritor of Carthus's powers at last. Tell I don't me, remember. What do you intend to do with them? This isn't what I wanted to do. Oh. Okay, I'm very confused now. I've never gotten Gale's origin ending, so this is all new. So wait, because I didn't want God Gale for this ending. Take it. That's not what I wanted. Like the wizard you were meant to be. Oh, shut up, Mistra. You do a great service here, not only for your goddess, but for magic itself. It will never be forgotten. I do too. Will I forget you. I am going to reload it and see what happens. Then you are free to go with both my thanks and my promise. Henceforth, your prayers will always be answered. Go, Gale of Waterdeep. Your life is your own at last. It's time you went and lived it. Uh, yeah, once this is over. So I said no, why do I... S okay, I'm very confused. I'm gonna reload from that point and say I'm taking her it's godhood. Okay. Yeah, I go ahead and ask while we're doing the, the post-game. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. When we joined battle for the last time, I did not want to presume we would survive. To feel your touch again seemed like a distant dream. That made last night all the sweeter. Sorry, I got distracted by something. Um, I believe so, yes. Because I am. At least, for now. Excuse Part me, Halsey. Part wishes we could stay in this room forever, you and I. But there is a new dawn breaking. 
and I have a part to play. So everyone leaves me? The wars of late have left many with nowhere to turn. Many lost their families, their homes. Some never had them to begin with. They need help. Help that the city cannot provide right now. I shall aid them to make a new place for themselves. In Thaniel's realm, under nature's watch. Now is the time for us to take care of each other. Already people are gathering to depart. The promise of a new life inspires great haste. At last count, there were nine whole wagons of children in tow. They are my duty now. <laughs> Daddy Halson, they call me. Oh no. Who am I to tell them otherwise? Good morning. We are each free, as we always were. But that does not need to be the end. You must visit as soon as you can. There will be much for you to see, and not a soul among our numbers who will not wish to praise the savior of Baldur's Gate. And I... Well... I shall have my own selfish reasons for wanting to see you again. If you wish the same. Then I will watch the horizon for you each day. Can't I just go with you? Fix your image in my mind each night. Until I feel your touch again. I'm sorry, can't I just go with you? Hello, darling. Ah. I was just thinking about... Freedom. We've dealt with the parasite, and you dealt with Casador. I'll never be in someone's power again. And all it cost was my life in the sun. Wait, what? <laughs> now I belong to the shadows. Wait. So, what happens next? Hold on, time out. We got a new line where he said he could stand in the sun. And it was permanent. And now we're getting this. True, the spawn will need someone to lead them. Otherwise, I'll just be a murderous, blood-sucking horde. Although, <clears throat> I He's couldn't not ascended. help but notice you said we should find them. Is that what you want? Is this what you want? I would understand if you wanted to go your own way. He's not ascended in this. So that's a new line. I've never heard that line before. <sighs> Good. Because, selfless as I am, I really did not want to let you go. We are rather excellent together, you know. And united, there is nothing we can't do. I can't say what the future holds for us. But I know we'll be facing it together. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So I am very confused right now. This is non-ascended, non-god Astarian. Or non-ascended Astarian, non-god Gale. We got the line. Fortress in the Underdark with Astarian and other outcast vampire spawn. It is not civilized. It is not safe, but it is home. Few know how to find you, and most that do are unwelcome. So when a message arrives addressed to you both, you fear the worst. Hunters, killers, Yo, this outfit. But you need not fear. This letter is an invitation, and it comes from a friend. Written in a frail hand, it requests your presence at a gathering of your former allies. Those who stood with you against the Absolute. The journey to the surface is long and perilous. 
and you would not miss this for the world. Okay, I need Gail's outfit. I don't like the top between the shoulders, but oh, cold I'll need here, it. Some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Oh my god, shut up, Volo. Why why am I bloodless? Why? Are you s I have no anything? So I'm just bloodless. A little discourse. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. <laughs> Hilarious. You could find work as a jester if you stumble upon a noble with more gold than taste. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Aw, hugs. <gasps> no. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial than before. Uh, Next game just froze. Scrounging off the land, I take it. Shit. Um, hold on. The game just froze. Oh, the game just crashed. <sighs> Shit. Well, let us hope nothing broke. I literally just clicked on Shadowheart and took a screenshot and the game crashed. Well, let's see what happens. And where where it puts me. Oh no, Kelly, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I've had a couple random crashes and freezes. Oh, also Taru, I think I they got back to me on my ticket. I had to change the region on their site. So that could be why. So I'm hoping that's why what happened. Yeah, I wonder if I need to, to shut down my computer and clean it out because I've gotten weird um, crashes in this and other things lately. I can shrouded froze up on me yesterday and I wasn't even streaming it. So we're not going to talk to Shadowheart because that froze. You don't like me enjoying myself, do you? Oh, scratch. I don't have any potions. Where's my potion of, uh... Hold on. I need... Okay, I don't care about that. I need a way to talk to the dog. Some pillow talk. No, God. I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean that. I just gutted the ogre, not... Will! How about I change the subject before I dig this hole any deeper? 
by the star's light and the moon's glow gale. It's so good to see you. Scotty okay, would be very sick if he... Open hunt. The trolls I've torn open. The ghouls I've cleaved. The stories I've been itching to tell. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. Oh, fine, Will. Yes, but just the one. Or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Stegosaurus that bullied Candle Keep? The impossible lich? Or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna get a quick bio. You all decide which story you want to hear. And uh, I'll be right back.
Hello, hello. Sorry I missed the raid. Hey, Conrad, what were you up to? Welcome on in. Uh, okay, no one answered. So it we're going to hear about the leech. No, the adventure had peaceful beginnings. That's well, nobody posted anything, so I, I went with the leech. South of Daggerford. The night was calm, lit by the green lanterns of a caravan. I was about to dig into a hearty stew when it began. A deluge of bone. It was as if a thousand skeletons were walking the skies and had split into pieces. Skulls, knuckles, ribs rained down on me. I shielded myself with armor of Agathis and made for the light. The bones clumped and clattered into unspeakable aberrations. I cast and carved until I reached the light. I found no caravan. But a sickly green lich. Each fallen bone was a shard of its essence. An impossibility. Yeah. But what does a world of nether brains and magic crowns care about the impossible? I raged through the night. By morning, the fields were buried in shards of bone. The liches included. I've seen him more than a few times. And... He's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal. Hello. Opened the gates to all newcomers. Rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element. Commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Vane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow. That cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist oh, a good. new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Uh, Conrad, if you're still here, what were you doing? Oh, Spelunky too. Hey, Melum. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire. The comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. Aww. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Aww, Tonight, well. I toast not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. <laughs> She's kept her leash loose. Ah. Uh. No, I've been no stranger to the hells. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tenari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next mark's the most challenging yet. Or so she says. I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. Oh no, she's sending him after Raphael. How she plans to win. But I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's hell-touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. Damn. Go on. The night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops. Did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> oh, Will. What a surprise. Oh, Jahira. Well, now. You can make yourself presentable if when you, you have a mind to. Wow. 
An unworthy one. Forgive me. I am simply excitable. It is good to be out under an open sky once more. My first, since the reconstruction began. We left quite a mess behind. But the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Baldorians simply get on with it. Oh, I hear boo. Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. I Farmers, smell like coffee masons, somehow. Healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn wow. nothing or two if they don't expel her again. Okay. Ah, oh, there is still much to do. People to house, a Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less for all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Well... Quite a bit of climbing, then. Hmm. I have no doubt the Arch Druid keeps you active. <laughs> But perhaps you can spare the details for later. Wow! I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Wow, Jahira. Did she just basically say housing keeps you busy? Wow. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I heard the ballad of the endless spring. <gasps> oh, bear baby. There's a ditty worthy of a knee slap. <laughs> he snaps the air and wiggles. You see the miming fighting a many-limbed creature or so. dancing. It's unclear. He is, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures. Yeah, I didn't summon him. him during the battle because I didn't want him to get hurt. Because that's the kind of person I am. All right, I'll be right back. I wash my hands, but I still smell like coffee and it's bothering me. Yes, um, Damon did something to make him grow before the final battle. The joy in the Albert's eyes is clear. He longs to have a home, and Halsin is perfect. Oh, my baby. Wow, Starian, why are you like this? 
<laughs> Boo! <gasps> we are not dreaming. It is our old friend. Oh, we get to see Boo finally. Oh, and it is good to be seen. Oh, after so many days down in the dark, Minsk began to wonder if he was some blind bug who had only dreamed himself to be large and bulksome. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Who had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. Minsk and Boo have been helping, of course. We guard the streets while Jahira is occupied with harperish matters. The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> I Execution, says Boo. No, I am not sure of the difference. Oh my god, Minsk. It is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? Minsk and Boo agree to disagree, but leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration. And the telling of tales! How have you filled your days since we tore this sticky tyrant from the sky? <laughs> a powerful pairing. If love cannot cure a vampire, what can? Magic? Oh, who suggests a variety of arcane remedies, but love. Love is the most potent, and by far the easiest to pronounce. There is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go, and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, Boo. Though I see no soap, so you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. Jesus Christ, Minsk. Yep, same old me. Yes, I'm taking a potato. <gasps> Marshember. Oh my god, I I drank it instead of just taking it. Wow, game. <gasps> Grateful words. Aww. Aw, hey Zero. Okay, that's that's cute. Oh, I can't put on my regular clothes. Okay. Interesting. Halson, my love. You made it. You He's think drunk. someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. Wait, we were lovers. What the fuck? Okay, I need to understand these dialogue options because we were romanced. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. 
Oh. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. Aw, hugs. This makes my heart happy. <laughs> that was more than worth the wait. Aww. Hey, give me a How kiss. How thoughtless of me. Come here. Because Halston still kisses like he's going to devour you. Is. That is what I've been missing. Oh. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been no, doing. No, not the bees. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, wow, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. In a manner of speaking, yes. Though it is a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. True balance is no simple, fixed thing. Hmm. I see that now. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie, I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see, my charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halson, another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. Thank you, Zero. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. Oh. My reputation is at stake. Oh, God. <laughs> you would ask to be tucked in next. But whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. Hey, now. More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. But I hope that time is quite a while right? off yet. I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather... unsettling image. Do you want to explain the bee thing, Taru? Or do you want to leave it as a... <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person, well, I shall not object Check to a night off. off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. 
quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods, as far as I'm concerned. I'll take this brief interlude to let you know we're almost at 9,200 raised for PCRF. Um, I'm full of feels. We can ask for a hug. <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Ah, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> I spend half my days in Ursine form. The children demanded. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. Oh no. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. Oh. On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Oh, I thought we killed Kaga in this playthrough! As did I, but... Somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself. Even at a ripe old age. I was just thinking the very same. Aww. If only we could stay like that forever. I haven't even had breakfast. I was hoping you'd ask. I find it interesting the game treats this more like our pri the primary relationship. And it froze when I took a screenshot of the kiss. If I've got to do all that over, I... Yeah, it froze again. I mean, granted, it's a nice place for it to freeze, but the game... Oh, it... There we go. It unfroze. <laughs> I'm just like, no, not again. Also, Halson kisses you like he's trying to devour your soul. I mean... I shall never tire of that. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you if I like to work? If he gives us a duck, I'm gonna yell. I made this. If he gives us a duck, I'm gonna fucking yell. <laughs> Ducks. Oh my ducks, god! But I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet they always find their way back to where they belong. Oh. <laughs> Just like I old friends it. find themselves back in each other's company. Aww. Wow, why would they give you even option for...
why was option four even a thing? Uh, thank you for the sub, Eric. I'm like, he's gonna give me like a fucking illithid. Just a token to remember me by. Now I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. It wasn't as rude as option later. four. Okay, you came with me. I'll talk to you later. Okay, where's Shadowheart? <gasps> Kitty! That's right, Tara can talk. Mr. Dakarios. Here you are. Thought you'd have a night of revelry far from the loving supervision of your favorite Tressim, did you? <laughs> oh, really, sir? It can't be more than a week or two since I visited. My cat flap of displacement has barely ceased swinging before I poke my whiskers through once more. Still, I'm very glad to see you, too. I trust you're enjoying having abandoned <gasps> your mother and I for adventures abroad. Tara! Rude! That's not the only reason, but it was a primary aim, yes. <gasps> One day, sir, I'll convince you to put your roots down back where they belong. Among your books, near your fire, in view of your dear friend, Tara. Oh, Until she misses then, him. My suffering must continue. Have fun tonight, Mr. Dakarios. But not too much. There's a good fellow. Obviously. Wow. <gasps> the purr. The purr. Ta ta, darling. You've been hanging out with a starian. You just call me darling. True. Seems like a century ago that we were all together, but also like no time's crossed at all. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I don't need to. I'm annoyed I can't find a potion. Okay, you're drunk, Halson. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age. You're Has not my not? friend, Volo. You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. <sighs> Always, my friend. But the villain I must needs slay today is my greatest yet. A deadline. You won't be surprised to find I'm soon to publish a little holiday read about our adventures together. What adventures together? I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature. I'm sorry, what? So you needn't even bother with the release form. I'm sorry, what? You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Oh, terribly sorry, but you mistake me, my friend. I'm only accepting complimentary feedback at this time. Perhaps, once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'd write a draft and you could just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for Can you. Can we kill Volo? Mm -hmm. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to. And I'd love to listen in. Can I just kill Volo? God damn it. That's some 
something strange in your old friend's mind. Why do you have this? What is it? A familiar invitation. He wants you to throw the object he's dropped. But it isn't a ball. It's the astral oh, prism. Oh, so much for a screenshot. <laughs> oh, Scratch, what's wrong, buddy? Scratch barks merrily in something like agreement. I have no potions. I took all my stuff. He whines. Let's talk. Oh. Oh, buddy. Hold on. We need to throw the astral. Where's that? Where did it go? Where's the astral prism? Where is it? Oh, my God. Albear. <gasps> oh no. Does Scratch get too much deer? Scratch yaps a request you know well. Fetch. Oh. Oh well. It was nice knowing you, Taru. You'll never move again. And your cat looks so unrepentant. excited he is to play fetch look at him go get it uh, okay I guess he's keeping it cool he just wanted one round to fetch you starting to wonder if you'd show up love you too Shadowheart That's what bookmarks are for, Gail. You're allowed to come up for air every now and again. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. The hugs seem to be what's causing a freeze, if I try to screenshot it. Hmm. You feel a little more substantial. What are you trying to say, Shadowheart? Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. Filled out and healthy is what I was going for. Don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I found a little cottage. Abandoned. Half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found, thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. <clears throat> Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but... They're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good mm. days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and 
When I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. Father's making himself useful. Helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. You should see the amount I have now. He's been waiting years for this. Now he can't stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a historic reunion. I couldn't have said it better myself. Just be sure to take your own advice whenever you can. You've earned it. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. See, Tell me all. Shadowheart is the friend that's one wrong joke away from you never speaking to them again. Because I'd have been like, cool, I'm out. Do you ever rest? Think of all those poor, budding adventurers looking to make a name for themselves. Take some time off and give them a chance, why don't you? Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. <gasps> Whoever wrote that plays D&D. &D. Whoever wrote this has tried to play D&D. &D. I'm sure we will, but... Let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. You never tried to schedule D&D, &D, have you, Shadowheart? Ugh. Sorry. Don't be a stranger. Who am I missing? I mean, obviously, other than a star in. Talk to Will, I've talked to Volo, talked to Stinky. Let's see what Astarian has to say. Even though we've been living together, what can he have to say that I don't know? Rack. I take racks over this any day. Hey Catherine. Right, where the fuck did Withers go? Where's my beloved? And how have our friends fared without us? <laughs> I'm glad. It would be so easy to go through everything we did and come out the other side bitter and twisted. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? But they deserve happiness. We all do. And I will forever be grateful to have found it with you. Let's see if the game acts right. <gasps> he knows how to hug now. I do feel a little bad keeping you all to myself. After all, I get to see you every night. Go on, go mingle. Enjoy your time with the others. Bless them with your presence. I'll be here when you're ready. I'll always be here, my love. Oh. Go on, talk to the others. We have forever after all. Oh, interesting. How much more can I talk to everyone? It truly is splendid to see everyone gathered together again. If only for a night. <laughs> I hope the sun does not make haste to rise on us.
You read my mind. Okay, so I guess I keep talking to everyone until I go talk to Withers? I haven't actually done the epilogue content, so I don't know how to start or end it. <laughs> that cat had you pinned down. You are more intoxicating than any fare this gathering has to offer. By all means. So it's interesting. Gale is shorter than Astarian. But everyone has to lean up to talk, to kiss or hug Halson. I could get used to this. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. You already gave a, me a duck. A keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. So is my epilogue bugged? Because already gave me the duck. <sighs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. <sighs> Yet, they always find their way back to where hey, they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Brian, am I going to see you at PAX East? Oh, I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. Aw. Wow, we're just sitting here? Starian, my love, what are you doing? Is he just throwing a dagger in the ground? Go on, talk to the others. We have forever after all. This has laid out quite a spread of food. The one comprising mostly of bone. Perhaps he wishes to live vicariously through the attendees appetites. I was gonna sit there, Starian. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone because Lazelle's not around. Karlak unfortunately died. Will is the Blade of Frontiers, not of... <gasps> oh, here's Withers. Oh, he's restored this. Can I get my stuff back? Oh, he's got his little crypt and everything. All right, let's save before I do this. Then I'm gonna go back and not give up the crown. Become God Gale and see what happens. Thou feelst it still. She is not here. She who was the boldest. Hast thy thoughts been with brave Karlak often? Correct. Not in planes material, elemental, nor transitive can her like be found. In but a dozen ten days, an entire life was lived. More than mortal years. Pretty sure it's bigger than the studio I've mortal been in. centuries were hers. Thy band, thy bond, gave that life to her. Not 
not like thou wert her kin. It was written in her heart. Surely thou knowest that. In the fugue plain, her soul burns so bright, it pains the gods to look upon. Recall that in time, all changes and all is rejoined. Thou shalt be with her again. What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. Wait, Withers is drinking. He's a fucking lich. And there's the credits. So now, look, I thought he was, uh, he's undead. He shouldn't be drinking, but neither should a star in. So. Actually, let's watch the credits because someone we know's name is in these credits. Also, I don't know the song that's playing during the credits. Difficulty are you on? Bless the console programmers. Uh, 
I thought this said Mark Vecna. I'm tired. Shout out for QA. Get out. And I'm watching the credits because I know how hard it is to do all of this. Wow. I find that interesting how they list the writing team. He's Bernard? I thought that was her. Doug. Wait, there's a bag of holding that's voiced? What? Same. I miss Matt's voice in the credits, but I know he's Minsk. Damn. I'm just looking at the number of voices these folks have done. Jesus. Matt did not do additional voices. Interesting. It said there's 247 voices. Voice actors. And look at how many they have each did. And who knows how many you'll never meet, depending on your choices. Theo! <gasps> Theo did other voices. Cool. Oh. Oh no, I don't know what those are. Oh, Greg Jones. Hey. 
Tom! Uh, also a familiar name should be showing up soon. Hey, pirate! We're just rolling credits. We're looking for, uh, Mandy's name. Pirate, what time are you doing Royal Rumble? Or Influencer Rumble? Rumble? Okay. That's fine. She hasn't started yet. I was going to try to raid Nikelly. I'm going to go back and do one more ending. I'm going to make the choice for God Gale. I just want to let the credits run once. Because I know how hard it is to make a game. Yeah, she should be on 15, 20 minutes. I buy zero. I ordered groceries. Because I think I'm going to actually cook in the Instapot today. I suddenly, I woke up wanting a uh, chicken noodle soup. Uh, zero, if you log into the game, can you let me know if you can find the server? I think what I did fixed it. I think. I had to change my region on the G portal site. Ooh, nice, Pasole. So while these are running, I'm actually going to uh, do my Instacart order. I'm keeping an eye on the credits though, so we can find names. I don't want a family account. I just want to order food. Okay. No worries. Have fun. Hey, it is what it is. If you if it will make you happy and you can get it, I say go forth. Oh, that's hot. I shouldn't have picked that up.
Oh, it's fine. I did. So, I, in theory, I knew how long the credits were. I also didn't know how long the credits were. So while the credits are rolling, how's everyone doing? How's your day or evening or afternoon going? There's so many studios involved. Oh, excuse me. Pit stop. Nice. I know it's not Cat Williams, but I saw Cat Williams and my brain went no. I'm going to leave it up till I think February 15th. Um. Fraser. Yay, Fraser. There are actual people named Alistair. With that much dialogue, you need this many people. I know somewhere in here is... Aw, PR. Oh, Marissa and Sam. That's who I worked with for all the stuff I got to do with, um, with Larian. I think we're almost to the end because I think everyone's listed alphabetically. But I wanted the credits to run because I know how hard it is to make a game. Even before I got my current job, I knew how hard it was to make games. So... As in my day job now or what games I've consulted on 
Uh, there's actually a page on my site for previous games because it's been a, quite a bit before I got my current job. Additional harp recordings? Damn. Aw, Sergey. Playtest just chosen by the absolute. Love it. I love that playtesters are in the credits. I know the credits are long, but I firmly believe in watching them at least once, if not more than once. And we're almost to the end, I think. Oh, and I totally forgot to get more coffee. Beyond what I have in my mug. to the L's.
is in there. I didn't know his name was in the credits. <gasps> Cat Kruger's in there too. That's awesome. Ah, there's a name I was looking for. <gasps> Mike Laidlaw's in there. Cool. Not great that he's right above Merle's, but... Aw, oh, Nathan. Oh, it's so fun seeing names I know in the credits. Wizards, Wolfheart. This is so sweet. Um, I'm letting the cre the credits roll. I'm gonna I've beaten the final fight, but I'm going to um, reload and do ascended Gale ending. Hey, cats are important. Myself for being awesome. <laughs> Aww. Something about a DOS game. Oh, Art Floor Doggos. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, this is so sweet. I feel your breath upon my neck. A soft caress is cold as death. I didn't know you well back then. I blame it on luck and fame. My praise and devotion to coffee. Gotta love it. It's pretty standard practice in games to include thanks and special thanks from the, from the crew. James. Oh. Just 
to the ultimate troll. He knows why. Wow. Who's supposed to know that's for them? Aw, oh, their son was born during production. I do love that they have special thanks from the... <laughs> you have to share your PlayStation with me! It's kind of interesting that there's a clock ticking. Oh no, there's a typo. Oh, that's right, Swen lost his dad. Blessings of Char. Oh. You're welcome. I'm gonna go back and do uh, God Gale, and then by then, by then, Kelly should be on, and we can go raid. But now that we've watched all of the credits, I don't. Okay, we're not watching the technical parts. I'm gonna reload. Oh wait, well, hold on. I'll There's more. Not. The Dead Three. I've seen this, so I'm gonna let you all watch it. I'm gonna go get a bio. Gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. 
Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. back also put on different uh lounge pants because the heat is up and it is hot in my apartment all right go enjoy your day don't worry about me so this is where we're going to we're not going to dominate the nether brain but we are going to um Make Gale a god. And see what those choices mean. There. At last. It is subdued. Spare me. Join me. No. Wield no. me. Become absolute. No. And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design once again. Ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. So, obviously, if I dominate the brain, I'm evil. That's it. We don't get the ending. It's the decisions you make after the fact. No. 
nightmares and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn mythics. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. The tadpole burns in your brain. time in a long time your thoughts are entirely your own and then gravity I'm gonna skip ahead because we've seen this already Everything you sacrificed, it was worth it, for this. I deeply hate who Gale becomes as a god, but I want to see it through. I'm also curious to see if we get that same line. <coughs> Should have learned to bloody swim. Can't believe I almost drowned at the last hurdle. <sighs> oh, new lines. Interesting. We did it. The nether brain is dead. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died with the brain. That means we can't turn into Mind Flayers. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with being a Mind Flayer, of course. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. This is different. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. Yes. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. Do it quickly. I cannot live in this skin a moment longer. as noble in spirit as he was in bloodline. We're in his debt. Now there's a sight to see. Not that I'll miss them. <laughs> With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering. Why are you like this? To be rebuilt. Starin. The crown is in the depths of the Chiontha. You will salvage the stones and reforge the crown. The power of Netheril in your hands at last. The Carsite weave palpates within you. Stirred by the very prospect. 
Once the crown is restored, you could return it to Mistra, fulfilling her wishes and ridding the mortal world of such temptation. temptation. Or you could take control of it for yourself and become a god. Your ally's journeys may have ended with the Netherbrain's death, but yours has not. One way or another, you will have to reckon with your god. It's time to speak to Mistra. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Oh, we didn't get the same line. And Will became the blade of Avernus, so he's not gonna offer. Engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. Careful! Hot! I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. Oh, it's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city with my friends. But life is for the living. And I saw... So, Gale of Water Deep, you have become the inheritor of Carsus's powers at last. Tell me, what do you intend to do with them? You think yourself capable of it? Come then, let us put your ambition to the test. test. Oh shit, we gotta fight Mistra? Do we just die? You have remained mortal, Gale of oh shit! You would have lived uh, I don't understand Russian. Uh, English only, please. Oh shit, did we just die? <gasps> oh shit, we died. Oh shit. Well... 
fight Mistra was a bad idea. Who flickers there twixt the shadows? Gale, the wizard, who thought to crown himself a god. Thou didst think to wake in Elysium. Holy shit. The orb was thine undoing, for thou didst never truly comprehend its power, nor learn the truth of its conception. So, thou standest here before me. <gasps> Holy a shit. God, a humbled wizard. Tell me, was thy life a fair price to pay for thine ambition? Wait, how am I even here? I have no soul. Why do I not have a soul? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How does he have no soul? He he was a mortal human until he tried to become a god. He still No. I didn't make any of the companions a mind flayer. Gale's human until he tries to become a god. The transition from life to death undoes many a mortal's mind. Thou art confused, but thou wilt collect thy thoughts in time. Thy life may be forfeit, but thy death hath only begun to unfold. Holy what shit! What awaits thee is a mystery, even to me. I cannot account for thee, adventurer, hero. Friend, but I know thy story endeth not here. Death itself hath many byways, and thou might yet have a new and different role to play. Oh shit, we got roll credits. There thou art. Yo. The dead three. Thy face is gods, thy actions barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more. Holy shit. Wow. I didn't expect that. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, Y'all got new emote money because they ain't cheap. Also, for a new, e a new not animated emote, I need 2,500 sub points. That means 2,500 subscribers. I think so, yes. I 
I need 2,500 points to unlock a new emote slot, even with the extra emotes Twitch has given us. I have 42 animated emote slots that need to be filled. That's a whole lot of money. Tell me, what do you intend to do with them? Man, I've got a shocked emote. We don't need a new emote for that. We have a shocked emote. Uh, Black Widow, can you message me uh, what you're thinking to make sure we're on the same pro we're on the same wavelength? So we know that Mr. really said, Nuck if you buck, and she had that smoke for him, literally. Ambition. <laughs> A fitting domain. For that is the only thing you will have to offer your worshippers. Wow, she said you're useless. The weave will never answer to you. Set your ambition to that purpose, and you will feel the wrath of a true god. Unworthy of wow. Damn, Mishra said, you are a false god, be gone. Well. since you claimed your godhood but you cannot say how much a day a month a year a century you measure time in eons and eternities and space is a matter of infinities overlapping impossibly in the dreams of the divine but the bonds of friendship and heroism still have meaning and they are truly without limit that is why you must return once more to Faerun, to be with those who stood alongside you when the nether brain fell, to be among mortals once more, the best of their kind. Perhaps they can tell you how much time has passed since the last time you were together. Oh, sorry, Black Widow, let me fix that. Because people now be people. Now called here, some from above. Some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Hey, do you Though see? thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good go know one another once more Yeah, I messaged you, uh, Black Widow. Ah, uh, yep. Same thought. Same thought. Same thought. Alright, also, I'm a go- Wait, what kind- <gasps> Power word ruin? <gasps> Divine revelry. What? 
Scratch! No, I've already got a emote. I've already got an emote like that, so... That's fine. Also, I'm a god. Why do I care about such mortal things? Ice spells together. Lightning spells together. Fire spells together. I know that it's the epilogue, I don't care. Wow, Astarian, you're being precious. Why are you like this? I thought I could speak with animals. I'm a god, you mean I can't speak with animals? Oh, that scratch is just with me. Owlbear. He looks coyly at the ground, suddenly oh, shy. Oh, baby. He snaps the air and wiggles. He's either miming fighting a many-limbed creature or dancing. It's unclear. He is, however, exhausted. He's had plenty of adventures without you. Aww. The joy in the owlbear's eyes is clear. He longs to have a home, and Halsin is perfect. now you can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to oh that's rude jahira jesus <laughs> oh forgive me i am simply excitable <sighs> it is good to be out under an open sky once more my first since the reconstruction began we left quite a mess behind but the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing. Huh. Hmm. What else? Helping. Whether I ask for it or no. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing aid funds. They might learn a thing or two, if they don't expel her. Again. I suppose I am. I tried to steer them clear of my life's work, but they have chosen it for themselves. Ah, oh, there is still much to do. <laughs> People to house. Hey, Camilla. A harper network to rebuild. 
I may have little love for this city, but so long as my family chooses to serve it, I can do no less. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Of course. Be sure to kick the mud from your boots before returning, then. But while you're here among the mortals, why not enjoy it? Now, before this night grows any deeper, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Seems like a century ago that we were all together. Okay, this has nothing to do with anything we're doing right now. Because I'm putting in my grocery order. I don't know how to explain. I put in tortilla chips and got chicken and waffle chips. I'm very confused. I don't want chips to taste like chicken and waffles. What are the same thing, Camilla? With haste. Oh, Neither have I. Are not dreaming. It is our old friend. What is reuniting with old comrades, if not the stuff of dreams? <laughs> uh, but Minsk is full clothed, so this must be no vision. You will forgive the aroma, I hope. We were not expecting the dusty one to open a portal to our very cell. Boo had a moment to lick himself clean, but there is a little too much of Minsk to cover. What else but the stuff of songs, my friend? The Zentarum rule the city's underbelly, so Minsk and Boo went to give them a tickle. There were harsh words, battle cries, some manner of uh, head wound. We awoke in a Zentish cell, awaiting trial by noble combat. <laughs> Aye. Execution, says Boo, though... Uh, I am not sure of the difference. It is a long walk to the gallows, and Minsk still has his fists, no? In ample time indeed. So long as the Bone Mage returns us to our cell by dawn. Who would not be late to the bloodshed? But leave such matters for the morn. Tonight is for celebration and the telling of tales. How have you filled your days since we tore the sticky tyrant from the sky? Uh, they're ch they're regular chips that are flavored like waffle chicken and waffles. Mm. And yet, you still make it sound so boring. Wow. Truly, God Gale. Minsk is glad to see you have not uh, Could you spell bit. Matthew's name correctly, please? But I ask, should Boo send you prayers? Answer not. For his ambitions to be realized, the world is not ready for such things. <laughs> there is much merriment to be made before the night is done. Go and greet the others. Minsk shall make himself presentable. Ah, this pond shall do nicely, Boo. Though I see no soap, so you shall have to blow the bubbles for me. I'm actually friends with Matt, so. All my favorite people in one place, not to mention all my favorite wines. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. 
Oh, Will. Gods, I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean that. I just mm -hmm. gutted the ogre, not... <sighs> How about I change the subject before I dig this hole any deeper? By the star's light and the moon's glow, Gale. It's so good to see you. And you look every bit the god that you are. No time or inclination to get your divine hands dirty in battle, I wager. What different lives we've come to lead. Me, I'm bound to the hunt. The trolls I've torn open. The ghouls I've cleaved. The stories I've been itching to tell. Uh, I don't suppose you'd indulge me. You'll have to choose one tale and one tale only, I'm afraid, or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Stegosaurus that bullied Candle Keep, the Impossible Lich, or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave? There are tales galore of a great green dragon called Clogeliometer. Try saying that five times in a row. Clogiliometer, Clogili Muffer, Clogamother, whatever. Let's <laughs> call it Old Norbone. Turns out, Old Norbone had kids. And one of them flew the roost and took to stalking a small elven enclave outside Crypt Garden Forest. The damn dragon had turned the place into a slave camp before I arrived. Sordid beyond words. He was a big boy, but still a young'un. A wonder of the skies, but a lumbering oaf on the ground. I tried a sly approach, but the whelp saw me coming and up it flew. Poison poured from its mouth as it descended. I tumbled away, cast flesh to stone, and it crashed to the ground. I could have ended the battle there and then, but this was prey that deserved to be played with. The beast was a smoking heap of black-green scales once the battle was over. The elves and I sang songs and drank mead in celebration until their barrels went dry. <laughs> She's kept her leash loose, though I've been no stranger to the hells. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tanari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next mark's the most challenging yet. Or so she says. I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. I don't know what it is or how she plans to win, but I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's hell-touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. Ooh, I could buy shredded roasted chicken instead of... Mm, nope, not gonna do it. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart-to-hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. I... Suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. <coughs> Tonight, it's not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. I've seen him more than a few times. And he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. 
The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. The night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. Or waste a single drop of wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops. Did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. <laughs> Let's save Will and his father. Yes. You can either um, rescue him in general, or you can. Oh, you made it! <laughs> now it really is a party. You would think some or... of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. We have all pined for each other's company, I sense. I cannot imagine otherwise after what we shared. That bond was forged in a crucible that can never be stoked again, Oak Father willing. It is a bond that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. Ooh, I finally burned this candle all the way down. <laughs> you are right, of course. I am accustomed to dwelling on the past, even when it brought me nothing but unhappiness. You changed that and gave me the most precious of memories. <clears throat> now the task is to make yet more of them, so that each reunion shall be all the sweeter. And who's to say we need to make such gatherings a rare occasion? My hearth is yours to warm yourself beside always. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. Yeah, they gave everyone new clothes for the for the epilogue. I, I do feel like Halson would probably be as close to naked as he could be. As a druid. But who knows, maybe living around a bunch of kids has tempered him and he can't just run around as bare as he'd like to. Ha! Ah, bear. Please spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children you see, my charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halson, another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. <coughs> they have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. You would ask to be tucked in, <coughs> but whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes, but I hope that time is quite a while off yet. I am all ears, though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, thanks. Cheers. <coughs> Hopefully my cough did not get in there. You are truly incapable of disappointing. The children shall be wrapped and have no fear. All your oh. credit shall be given to the tale's originator. Wait, we now, Germany? It would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening. As much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now. Unless there was anything else. Mm. On occasion, but... I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. <laughs> Do you truly even need to ask? Of course. Who could not open their home to a befeathered hero of Baldur's Gate? Ah, and I did promise the children I would bring them back a surprise. Oh, imagine their faces. <laughs> uh, BRB, I'm I need to do a thing. Never mind. I had to go be a mod in Kelly's channel. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes. And the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. Ah, huh. my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them. And yet they Ooh, go on the new as shadows? resilient as anything in nature. I've got the I bakery. What knowledge I can the old to bakery. them yet. In truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs and they will cherish it. I'm sure. Daniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. <sighs> Always. Ah. Okay, Gail with the blue eye shadow. Your embrace makes me feel safer than any armor could. Oh. I spend half my days in Ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that. Not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. <laughs> Quite often, they come and go as they please. But with so many playmates to avail of, they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. 
I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, oh, nice. <clears throat> even at a ripe old age. How is the tavern, though? I bought the tavern, but not the one that comes with the dice. I've had bad luck with the big candles that have a die in them. Um, I bought the Yule candle, which I love, but the two wicks don't burn evenly. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember mm. how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Yeah, I have the Yule one sitting in front of me, and... Just a token to remember me by. It doesn't burn evenly, and no, I don't I've know why. I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. All the candles I've gotten with the double wick have had a problem, at least for for me. But Yule saw us plenty in it, so I may try to light it. Oh, Scratch is just hanging out with me. <gasps> I forgot to tell him about the owlbear. No, I didn't. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly, so have I. Well, come here, will you? It's been forever. Shadowheart coming in for a hug? Who are you? Ow. Feel a little more substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. No offense intended. Quite the contrary, in fact. I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. <laughs> I found a little cottage, abandoned, half I ruined. I'm going to save after I talk to, to Astarian to the absolute armies. and leave this for now because I just got hit with own. a wave of tired. The pain still comes from time to time, but but I won't let her torment me. I won't let her take any more from me. She's had more than enough already. Now she can dwell in her beloved darkness, ignored. Sorry. I found that happiness is an active thing. You have to fight for it every day, like you would a battle. I won't give her the satisfaction ever again. Don't be a stranger. So, I summoned... Well, are you trying to get people to dance? Also, where did a star in go? Oh, there he is. Also, where's my Tressim? Hello, darling. 
I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. I would ask if things have been going well, but you seem to be a literal god, so... I'm guessing yes? What's it like? All that power at your fingertips. This is interesting. <laughs> All those prayers to answer. <laughs> Yes. I suppose you're above the baser pleasures of life now. <laughs> A pity. They're often the most fun. Don't get me wrong. I am happy for you. It's just that I'm happy for myself, too. We get to ask him about the sun. Even though he wasn't running from the sun, we didn't get that scene at all. We didn't get the line about the tadpole fixed me versus I'm in the darkness now, my love. <laughs> exactly what I feared. Without the protection of our little friends, I was just an ordinary spawn again. Burning in the sun. I fled the dark and found refuge in the shadows until night fell. Part of me was relieved you left so quickly after the battle. I felt... ashamed. Like I'd lost... everything. Just as you claimed your victory. I didn't want you to see me like that. Oh, a star here. But time lent perspective. It wasn't your victory, it was ours. And for all I'd lost, I'd gained so much more. I had freedom, strength, a whole new life. And it was time to live it. <laughs> oh. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> what? <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. Oh my god, a star in. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. Dexter? <laughs> Hardly. Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. You know, it's funny. At first, I thought I was trapped by the shadows. Cursed mm. to live in them forever. Chill with the caps. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not the bot to be will get you. by the choices other people made. By what other people did to me. My past may be dumb. But my present... My future. They're mine. This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. But that being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say, say no. no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Oh my god, Astarian. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. Wait, what? Hold on, I thought I could offer him to join me as a god. After everything, this feels nice. A chance to take a breath, metaphorically speaking. I didn't get the option to offer him godhood. I wonder if I can only do that if he's ascended. Huh. Interesting.
I'm going to have to Google that, but for now, we're going to save. And we're going to go raid the Opera Geek. Because I've hit my wall. I've been up since way before God and the chickens. And uh, I need to prep for my grocery delivery. So, thank you for a fun stream. Let's see what Kelly's up to also in Baldur's Gate. And uh, I may come back later after I cook. Because um, I'm going to see if I can get the Enshrouded server up and running. And if I can, uh, Taru, I don't know if you're here or in Kelly's stream, but I do want to see if I got the Enshrouded server running properly. And also let me know if you want to swap your VIP for a mod sword. So I will DM you once I'm actually off the air, but let's see what Kelly's up to. If I stream again later, I will let you all know. Ascendant Gale raid. I think I have a Gale emote. I do have a Gale emote. Where is it? All right, so if you're sub, use these emotes. If you're not a sub, use whatever high hotty emotes you have. And uh, if I come back this afternoon with some Enshrouded, I'll see you there. Don't forget, Painting Pirate's about to be on with uh, AIW, like basically the AIW fun. Rumble, Royal Rumble. And then uh, Kelly Sauce, we're going to go see what she's up to. Bye, y'all.